And welcome to the Worldwide Golf Shops Insider Podcast Video Edition. Special guest joining us today is Art Chow from Rapso. Art, hey, you joined us a while back on the audio podcast. That was so much fun. We figured we'd do it again, my friend. Oh, Tom, thanks for having me. Yeah, really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to demoing what our mobile launch monitor can do for you. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to because you were kind enough to get us one of these to give give a shot. So we're what we're trying to learn today is take this thing from the box out to the tee box. And it's really, from what you were saying, it's really simple. So I'll just kind of turn it over to you and let you take it from there. All right, let's do it. Uh, first yeah. of all, I'm going to share screen. Okay, so can you see my screen? I can. We we can see it oh. fine, Art. Thanks. Okay, great. And you can still see me in the in the corner, right? In the yes, sir. Yes, right? sir. So so here's what so so we have the mobile launch monitor, right? This is our mobile launch monitor. It, it's basically it's a little little unit. It's about the size of a of a range finder, and and there's the there's the radar in here that's going to track the how fast the ball is going. So it's actually looking at the ball as it, it's down the line. So as the ball is being hit, it's tracking with the radar. But then what happens is you take your phone, and you take your phone and you you open up the app and you stick your phone on top of it. And the, mm -hmm. the, the app links up uh, the phone Bluetooth to the crit, to the, to the radar. So it's radar going to the phone through Bluetooth, which enables the camera on your phone to also track the ball. So the camera on your phone's tracking the ball, the radar in the unit is tracking the ball. And between the two, we get all this great data. So, let wow, me show so you, you got both else. camera and radar tracking in it as well. Camera and radar tracking. Wow. So let me, so let me go show you. So let's, let's say we're going out to the range. Okay. Okay. And so uh, I'm, I'm showing you my, my phone. I have my phone uh, connected to the, uh, uh, to the, to the computer. So I'm going to, I'm going to yep. go here and I'm going to see on my app. See, see that lower right hand corner, that Rapsodo MLM app in the lower right corner. I'm going to hit that. Mobile launch monitor. Yep. Yep. I'm going to hit that and I'm just going to pop the app. Okay. And this is the home screen. And then the mm -hmm. menu bar is at the bottom. So you see at the bottom, you got sessions, stats, play, explore, and profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. We're going to go play. Okay. So I'm going to hit play. Yep. So let's, and uh, then we're going to hit, we're going to say practice. Let's get practice. Yep. You're going to go to the range and hit some practice balls. There That's you go. right. And then you got to say, okay, are you practicing outdoors or into a net? And then in the meantime, I'm going to turn on my mobile launch monitor. Okay. I'm going to turn it on and watch yep. what happens when I turn it on. See, the light goes on on front. So I got a red light saying that, that the unit is on. So that's, I'm going to set that right down here. So I'm going to, let's say, let's pretend we're outdoors. Let's say we're going to hit outdoors. We're at the range right now. So I'm going to say mm -hmm. outdoor. Then the GPS on my phone is immediately kicked in and you have an aerial view. That is my house. I'm sitting in my house right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to move it around. I'm actually in a, in my den, which is my study, which is right about there in my house. Okay. That's so I'm going amazing. to confirm, I'm going to confirm the location. Mm -hmm. Now let's say I'm on the range and let's say the range is actually hitting straight that direction. Let's say I'm hitting directly across the street, right? So let's say okay. the range goes across. A, okay. So that's my location. So that's my heading. So I'm going to say, confirm that heading. Now it's going to connect it. Oh, oh it also says uh, it automatically, because of GPS on my phone, it knows where I'm located and it knows there's a, I actually live on Forest Hills Country Club. But I'm just down the street from the clubhouse. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm at Forest Hills Country Club. And I'm going to save that. And so now it's all hooked up and you notice that the, the light on the, on the monitor has gone to green, which means it's ready to go. And what mm -hmm. you're seeing now is you're seeing the, uh, the camera on my phone. So, so uh, what we would do is you would put the, the phone onto, onto the unit. Suppose we're mm -hmm. supposed to hit across the street. And that's tough for me to do because I have this cable pointed, but, but that would be the direction we would be, we would be hitting. Right. Okay. So, so yeah. we would put this on the ground in back of us. And we would uh, stand about about six, seven feet in front of it. And as long as the camera can see the player and the ball, then you just start hitting. You start hitting balls, hitting balls, hitting balls. And it's automatically going to record it. But you, don't need to, you don't need to touch it in between shots or anything like that. And that's it. So, you just so the days over. of us having to line up a launch monitor exactly on the ball and no, position it, those, yeah, those days are long no. gone, right? You yeah. just look back. And as long as you can see yourself and the ball, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're good. And you don't want to be, you don't want to be too far back. Uh, I think anything over 10 feet back is probably too far. Uh, anything closer than say five feet, and you're probably not going to be able to see yourself and the ball. So right. you, you, you kind of need to, you, and you need to fool around with a little bit. It, it doesn't have to be that precise as long as I can see the ball and sees about the first, I don't know, the first hundred feet of ball flight or so. You're, we're, we're good. It, it does. It doesn't have to be exactly. So probably up. if, if 
say two to three paces. That's going to be what six to nine feet, right in there. I always right I take there. my driver. I take my driver and I lay it down and I lay it down again. So I give myself about two driver lengths and then okay. plus or minus plus or minus a head cover uh, uh, in there. <laughs> so so I can be a little bit depending on the range. Sometimes you don't have that much room, so you move a little bit closer. Sometimes okay. you you can move it a little bit a little bit further back. But uh, so 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 we're all done. And that was that's about as as uh, as much time as it takes to, to get it all set up. So you're set up, you hit, hit it balls. And let's say we're done. And if we're done with our session, see the upper left corner, that R, our R logo, I'm going to hit that mm -hmm. upper, that logo. And it's going to say, Hey, you're about to exit your current session. Are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to say, yes, I'm done. So I'm going to say, yes. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting back, we're back into the play mode. So now if I want to go look at, at the session, then I want to hit the sessions at the lower left. I'm going to hit that sessions button in the lower left. Yeah, let's take a look yeah. at one. So this and is now, a couple of your sessions, right? I yeah. have all, and if you look at the sessions, that the last one, 87 shots practice. It was outdoors. It was November 9th at 2 201 p.m. at Forest Hills Country Club. And these are the these are the clubs that 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 I that I hit. And if I scroll down, you'll see all of these sessions. Uh, this is each different time I start a session. You'll notice a lot of them at November 7th at TPC at River Highlands. We were just this past weekend, uh, with the folks at Golf Digest uh, at their hot list uh, club testing mm -hmm. uh, over at TPC River High. And so this is, you have to see a lot of sessions here from, uh, from uh, November 7th uh, with a lot of different golfers. Okay, so, you, so the, basically you have a history of every session you've ever had on, on the mobile launch monitor. So let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look at this 36 shots practice on November 3rd. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select that, that session. I'm gonna hit it Correct. And, and out pops the view of the session. So again, 36 shots practice. You can see I hit four different clubs. Mm -hmm. On the top, that shows the average, my average distance on all the clubs I hit that day. You can tell I hit, if I scroll down on the list, you see it's, it's numbered on the list at 36. The last shot is at the top. I can go all the way down to the first shot. And with each shot, you'll see, I, it's the club type, the distance in yards, the distance on the woods is going to be your total distance. Distance in irons is always going to be carry. Uh, you have the ball speed, you have club speed, smash factor, which is, which is a you know, club speed divi divided by a ball speed divided by club speed. Uh, you have the shot type, which is straight left, right, you know, hook draw. Mm -hmm. uh, LA is launch angle. So I, it, at the, on that shot, uh, on that, on that uh, top shot, I had an 8.4 degree launch angle. And my mm -hmm. launch direction was 1.4 degrees positive is to the right. So I started that one out a little bit to the right. Okay. So this is every, every three woods you hit, right? This is every three wood I hit that day. That's right. So wow, you're right in between, right in that sweet spot, 223 to 225. Art, how does it know which club you're hitting? Do you, do you let the unit know which club you're hitting? Uh, yes. Yes. You can, mm -hmm. you can select the club. Uh, so there's a manual selection so that before you, you can, you can change clubs or if, it, if you're using an iron, you can just place the, you can show the bottom of the club to the camera before you hit on the camera on your phone and the camera automatically recognizes it'll read the number seven on the bottom of your club and automatically switch to seven iron. It How works well that? for yeah. irons. Uh, honestly, it's not quite there for woods and wedges because woods and wedges, if you think about it, you have to, you have to figure out a lot of woods don't say three or one anymore. They, they'll have a loft on there or they're, they, you know, and, and, the, and it won't be in exactly the same spot. So uh, we'll, we'll get there with the, with the club recognition, but uh, right now it's, it's irons only. Okay. So, yep. so there's a few, a few cool things about this. So suppose I want to look at that top shot, number 36 there. I can, I can put my finger on that and I can pull it over to the left and you see a camera and mm -hmm. a trash can. Okay. So if it was a foul ball and I really didn't want to keep that, I would throw it out. Right? right. The camera is if I hit the camera, then it takes, and it's a little bit slow because it's plugged into my computer, but then, I get an actual view of my swing and the shot. And there's, there's the actual shot, the swing for that shot with the shot tracer. And then the other cool thing is that if I want to see what I'm doing with my swing, if you see that white bar uh, kind of almost at, almost toward the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it's a scrub bar. I can put my finger on that and I'm, I'm just going to pull it back and forth. See me pull this back and forth with my finger. Wow. And, and I can go and see, I, I have a transit. I like to look at my transition. I get up here and then I kind of dip at it. I kind of lunge at it. <laughs> I'm trying to stop that. And you see, I'm going way past. I, I look like Phil Mickelson in his youth going way past parallel. And I'm trying to stop that. So I, I like to look at that a little bit and then see how I'm doing. Okay. So, so, I, so you I, have every shot video recorded right there. Every the shot video recorded with the data. 
Uh, the other cool thing is here, if I want to, uh, suppose I want to send that to somebody, look at the lower right corner, that lower right corner with the little tray with the arrow on it. I hit that button and it gets me ready to export it. I can put mm -hmm. a club logo on there. So, so if I was, if I was working at Forest Hills, I would say, okay, I'm going to put that club logo on there and I'm going to export that. And it takes a few seconds to get it ready to export. And now once it's ready, I can send it to whoever I can text it. I can teams mm -hmm. it. I can tweet it out. WhatsApp. I can send it to whoever, whoever I, I, I want to there and, and, and they'll receive that video. So it's a really easy way to send the video uh, with the, with the data to your, your teaching pro, to your brother, if you want your sister, your, your, your guys and your foursome, if you want to brag, uh, whatever you want to do with it, you can share it. Okay. Yeah, you just jumped and in so there where I, we talked about on the uh, audio podcast, Art. You said the PGA teaching professionals are really, really high on this and high on their students having one of these, right? Yes, yes. The, the, the idea of being able to trade. I mean, right now you can do remote lessons. You can do it through video. You can take the video on your phone and, and that's fine. You can see the swing, but you don't really get the, the shot data. You can get mm -hmm. the shot data uh, off of other launch monitors, but you can't really get the video and then none of those get you the shot trace that you can actually see the path of the ball. So by having mm -hmm. the, the swing, the shot trace, and the resulting uh, data, I think that's the, that's the complete uh, cause and effect that teachers like to see uh, on a remote lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the other thing, so I'm going to go back into this, into this sessions view. The other cool thing about this is look at the upper right corner. It says outdoor, which means that mm -hmm. I was an outdoor session. Then right below that, you see the little green with the, with the flag in it. I'm going to click mm -hmm. on that little icon. And that is a GPS view of my session. Remember when we started the session, it asked you where are you at and what direction you're hitting. So right. this is why, because this is this is from this is actually the range where, I, where I'm hitting from. I'm going to take two fingers. And I'm going to and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in and watch what mm -hmm. happens to those. Now you'll see each one of those dots. Those become, are the four clubs you hit. Yeah. Those are the four clubs that that is actually every shot that I hit where it ended up on online. Uh, you can I can see where my where my gaps are. I, I could see. Look, you know, I could tell right now that between my bad seven irons and my strong nine irons, I, I'm overlapping there between mm -hmm. between my seven and, and and nine. I probably could use a little bit better gap there. I probably if I had my eight irons in there, there would probably be a ton of overlap there. I, I can I can select any one of these shots. So I'm going to see this three wood that I pushed out to the right there. Right. I'm going to select that one, and up pops exactly the data for that shot and the shot trace. So that one, it was clear, it was a straight block. I didn't slice that one. I didn't hook it. Mm -hmm. I just blocked that one straight right. Uh, mm -hmm. Hit it pretty good, but for me, but uh, just just uh, just kind of blocked it out there. Wow. Okay. What I'm seeing art is, is uh, comes to mind is fitting for wedges because you want to know your gaps and wedges and so many people don't have the right fit for wedges. This would be perfect for that, wouldn't it? We, we actually had a local uh, pro, Helen Curtin, who's one of the top teachers in the St. Louis area, uh, is one of our early adopters. And she just did a wedge, a wedge seminar with a, with a bunch of her, of her students where they all had an MLM and she was teaching them full wedge, half wedge, three quarter wedge, basically being able to identify exactly how far they were hitting it. And, and, and she could tell them exactly, okay, you know, the old 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, how far you're bringing the club back and, and then the resulting uh, carry distance uh, all through the MLM, and then she would save that distance for them so that they know exactly uh, what you know how, how far they're going and how how far the backswing is and how far mm -hmm. the resulting shot shot uh, is. Boy, this is good stuff, Art. When you first pulled it out of the box, you had the option either outside or uh, inside in a net. Well, uh, what's the relevance in in that on going inside? Yes. So if I go practice. I go outdoor or net. So uh, if I want to hit into a net, so the net means that that means that I'm, I'm only going to, I'm either hitting to a net indoors or outdoors. It doesn't matter, but right. the ball, I'm only going to getting about six to eight feet of ball flight. We, we look for eight feet is ideal. So it, depending on your velocity, six, seven feet, some, sometimes works. Eight feet is ideal, uh, but eight feet of ball flight is uh, in, into a net. We can get under in net mode. If you mm -hmm. had it on outdoor mode, uh, you, you would not get a reading uh, in, inside the net. So now you finally can use this in your basement. You can use this in your garage. Uh, the only difference in the net mode is you do not get a shot tracer because we're just not seeing enough of the sure. ball right. to get to get that trace. But you get your swing and you get uh, all, all of your data uh, matched up. 
Boy, this is fantastic. And just as I'm looking at the fe at the features of the unit, the video playback, shot tracer, sh satellite imaging, smart club recognition, bag mapping, and shot library. I think you've got you covered it all, Mark. <laughs> well, here I'll, I'll show you one other thing. So for, on this yeah. view play, you can see we have some games there, competitions. So mm -hmm. so uh, we'll do on we'll we'll have online games where you can do a long drive. You can if I'll choose that we can we, right now we have a turkey bombs long drive competition where three drives and we're giving away a pre premium subscription uh, and you can, you can do competitions with your, with your friends uh, mm -hmm. also. And then if I look at the bottom, uh, we've already did sessions. We did play, look at that stats uh, in between there. I'm going to click on mm -hmm. stats. So I click on that. And now here you have a side trajectory view of all your shots. And right now it says lifetime. So this is every club that I've ever hit that's recorded on here lifetime. This is the, wh where, where the dispersions is now i've had a lot of people hit on my my monitor so so mm -hmm. this is a lot of, a lot of noise but what happens if i want to go lifetime instead i'm going to hit this this uh, lt in the upper right corner i'm going to select that and you see the menu so let's just look what happens about in the last week so in the last yeah. week these are the shots that i hit in the last week and these mm -hmm. are all the all this the side trajectories and the distances the yardages uh for for each of those clubs well, in the last week, mine would be empty. We got to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Art, but, but before we let you go, you mentioned the Golf Digest uh, that you just came back from. Talk about that and, and what you guys got out of that and, and what they got out of that, because that's yeah, pretty it, interesting. It, it's interesting. So we have a partnership with Golf Digest. We're we're launching uh, the partnership with them on this uh, Coach Connect, which will come live in about three, four weeks, where we are, if you want to trade videos from our uh, MLM with their Golf Digest teachers, then mm -hmm. you will have, we'll have their teacher. You can do a search function and you can find a golf digest teacher anywhere in the world to, to send this to. Uh, and so we have this partnership with them. So they invited us down uh, to participate in their hot list testing where uh, they, uh, if you guys have seen the golf digest issue where they have, they have amateurs of, of different abilities come and hit balls with mm -hmm. all the different new clubs. And then they fill out their, you know, I like the shape of this one, like the sound of this one, this one worked better for me. And so they brought us in there just so that we could add a little bit of data to that. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, in the spring, when, when, uh, when that, uh, that uh, article uh, launches, you'll see the usual, uh, the, the reviews from the players, but then you'll see some of, uh, some of this data that goes along with it to, to support some of their opinions. Again, it's the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor. Uh, we kind of expanding a little bit on our audio podcast we did several weeks ago, and this is absolutely fantastic art. How about some uh, final words for our listeners? So, I mean, the, the basic idea is, is everybody knows about launch monitor technology, but we've taken the technology used to be in a big room and we've got it down to essentially this. You can carry this with you. You can take this out on the golf course with you. And there's really no reason to practice uh, without getting the data so that you can really understand uh, how you're playing and then be able to see your, your swing video in addition to that data. Uh, re it really is practice with a purpose. It really is, does help, helps you improve with that data and with that, that, that view of your, of your swing. Now, what I'm thinking of is the hardest thing around this time in holidays is to buy for that golfer that you think has everything on their list. I can promise you most golfers don't have this and they would love this, right? Uh, we're doing quite well on this uh, <laughs> and with the, with the indoor data uh, as, as well. You can go to our website, www.rapsoto.com. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, you can read the reviews. I, you know, go to Amazon, read the reviews. Uh, My Golf Spy just gave us a fantastic review. Not the leading uh, portable personal launch monitor uh, for, for 2020 is this Rapsodo mobile launch monitor. Art Chow, thanks so much for spending time with you. It's great catching up with you. Great. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Take it. Take care.